generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Was I brought here for a reason? Since your brother is leading our forces south and I'm going with the Arl, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Is that really necessary? This is no needless task. I ask you to take a great responsibility. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzlan. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pub, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They defeated the Lurk spawn long ago. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Dark Spawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I think I rather like that idea, Father. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Don't strain my abilities or anything. And don't strain my patience. In the meantime, find Fergus. And tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Okay, we got our first taste of freedom, but uh, let's talk to somebody real quick. Yes? Your daughter is interested in me? The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I got the impression Delilah didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. We'll see. I'm sure. There will be much to discuss once I return. I should go. Another time, then. Okay, our main character is a... Ah, uh, oh crap. I just realized that something... Horrible limitation for the way I've decided to do this. 
In order to cue the mic, I had to move the normal button I'd press away from the space bar. Majority of the buttons in this game are the keys in this game that are around the um, WSA, uh, WASD keys are bound to some action in the game. So what I decided to do was to go and link it to the center mouse button, which is what I'm using to cue the microphone now. Unfortunately, I can't rotate left or right while I'm cueing the microphone, so I'm going to... Uh, uh, hmm, I'll try to figure out some way around this. Maybe pick a different key or something that I can work with, but for now I'm just going to live with this. Our main character here, who I've named Bruce, Good evening, my lord. is a, somebody who, like, I... He has gone and wanted to go off in the war, fight the dark spawn with his father and his brother, but he's being left behind. And, well, you really have the option of being upset about that or not, depending on how you choose to play through the game. I'm having him be a little bit upset about that, in fact. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Nan's just blowing off steam. She's always been like that. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. He knows better than to hurt anyone. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? To the kitchen, then. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Ah, uh, the kitchen's this away. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. I'm sorry he's bothering you, Nan. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Are you trying to tell me something, boy? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? I'm gonna give him a name. Uh, how about Brutus? Oh, rats. Okay, let's start killing. Now I have the option of pausing the game and using this to issue commands to my various characters. Sir Gilmore, I can choose him. He's already going to fight that one. Brutus down here will fight. These guys are basically going to target things individually on their own. My main character though, as long as I'm playing as him, I'm going to have to go and choose targets manually. Gigantic rats. Now I had originally played. Oh. It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. <laughs> hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Certainly looks that way. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. 
Okay, we've got Brutus as a companion now. He's going to be sticking around with us through most of the game. Very well. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Well, what can you do? Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Well, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Okay, I am playing the PC version of the game here. I had originally played this game on the PlayStation 3. And while I believe the PlayStation 3 version was superior of the two console releases, the other being the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3 version was definitely inferior to the PC version by a fair margin. For one thing, the game does have a little bit of a higher, um, better graphical fidelity. Better textures, better environments. It runs a little bit faster, and there's less likely to be any slowdown. Also, there's the addition of this. The overhead view game looks like a little more, more like Diablo. You run around doing all that kind of stuff. That's weird. Uh, when I cue the mic, the character runs around without me. And gets all Resident Evil-y with the controls. <laughs> also, the, it does appear, though, that the game struggles a little bit with the shaders in order to have this. Maybe it was intentional by the developers to make it obvious where your characters were. But they light up too much when your characters are that high off the ground. Or rather, when your camera's up that high. Now, this may be unintentional. I'm thinking it might be unintentional because a lot of shaders that I hear or pixel shaders that I've seen in these games tend to struggle to render the edges of objects properly and there's a lot of edges of objects compared to the the uh, static lighting of the scene when you're up this high it's it's I mean I guess it works but it just looks a little weird to me maybe it was obvious just to show you where your characters were on the screen a little bit easier And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Yes, Mother and Nan is back to work as we speak. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Of course. It's good to see you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And you, Darren. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Perhaps we should speak again. Ah, fuck. The last one. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off. But we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? What if they fall without me? It's in the Maker's hands now. And we must cope as best we can. Did you know the Grey Wardens here? Yes, your father mentioned that. 
You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Darkspawn have returned. Grey Wardens are needed. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. I should go. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? I'm hardly a boy any longer. Indeed. I turned around, and here you are. A fine man in your own right. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. Okay. Uh, both her father, his father, and his mother are preventing him from leaving. Although I suspect his mother might have a little bit more of an influence in that regard than evening, his father. It shall be done. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. <coughs> Greetings once again, my lord. I haven't seen many elven ladies in waiting. Lady Landra has been very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, your mother has no ladies-in-waiting herself. Is that usual for a noble woman of her rank? If she found a maid like you, I might encourage her. You are very kind, my lord. I'm nobody special. You make me blush. I think we should get to know each other better. Aren't we doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Something more intimate, later on in my room. I... I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, my lord? Yes, that would be very agreeable. Until tonight, then. Okay, there's the thing. Iona is an elf, and there are elves in this game, as you probably suspect there would be. But the idea behind the elves and the 